Now, the theory that dinosaurs were wiped out by a huge asteroid colliding with Earth over 66 million years ago could soon be proved for the first time. In the heart of one of the most remote and inaccessible places on Earth, a team of scientists embarked on a journey that would change everything we know about our world. Hidden deep within these mountains lies a secret so profound it has the potential to alter the course of history. What was found inside this place shocked the whole world. What did they find inside the mountain? And what secrets still lie hidden in the unexplored corners of our planet? Join us as we unravel what scientists found inside this place that shocked the whole world. Number 15, 15th century gold book. When Buffy Bailey and her husband Ian took their metal detector to search for treasure on farmland near York, England, they didn't expect much. Buffy thought they might find something insignificant, like a sheep's ear tag or a discarded can tab. But the familiar beep of their detector led them to an incredible discovery, a small gold object weighing less than a particle and about half an inch long. The artifact, shaped like a book, dated back to the 15th century and was made of either 22 or 24 karat gold. Its open pages illustrate several saints, including St. Leonard and St. Margaret. Archaeologists and historians believe this tiny book might have belonged to a relative of King Richard III of England, possibly his wife, Anne Neville. It's speculated that she carried the artifact during pregnancy and childbirth as a protective charm. Experts estimate the book's worth to be around $130,000, or even higher, but its historical and cultural significance goes beyond its monetary value. This artifact dates back to a time when only the nobility were allowed to own gold, underscoring its importance as a symbol of status and privilege. This remarkable find not only enhances our understanding of old-fashioned craftsmanship and social hierarchy, but also adds depth to the narrative of England's royal history. The complicated craftsmanship of the tiny gold book is astonishing. Each saint represented on its pages is delicately carved, suggesting that the book was created by a highly skilled artisan. This level of detail hints at the advanced techniques used in goldsmithing during the Dark Age period. Additionally, the saints chosen for illustration, St. Leonard and St. Margaret, were both considered protectors of childbirth, reinforcing the idea that this book was a cherished charm or a noble woman. Number 14, The Grave of King Richard III. In August 2012, the University of Leicester, the Richard III Society, and the Leicester City Council started a significant archeological project their goal was to find the long-lost burial site of King Richard III, the last English king to die in battle. He was defeated at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485 by Henry Tudor's forces. Underneath a city parking lot, an incredible discovery was waiting for them. They unearthed a skeleton with battle wounds and a curved spine, a revealing sign of Richard III's known deformity. On February 4, 2013, Amidst worldwide attention, the university announced that these remains were indeed those of King Richard III. This conclusion was backed by strong evidence, including DNA analysis. King Richard III had been buried in the choir of a Franciscan friary, but the grave was not given much respect in its preparation. At the King Richard III Visitor Center in Leicester, you can look down through a glass floor and see the grave. One striking detail is its small size, so restricted that the king's head was forced into an awkward upward angle. This remarkable excavation and the identification of King Richard III's remains highlight the power of historical exploration. Number 13, the Unknown Queen. When an archeological team stumbled upon a new pyramid that had been mostly untouched for centuries, they uncovered over 300 coffins and 100 remarkably preserved mummies. Among these, some must have belonged to notable figures. One of the most astonishing finds was an unknown Egyptian queen whose discovery significantly reshaped our understanding of ancient Egyptian history. Initially, images of her, created through artificial reconstructions and shared widely on social media, were placeholders. These presentations offered only a glimpse of what she might have looked like while the actual data was being compiled. It took months of careful research and analysis before a more accurate portrayal of her appearance was revealed. This queen, later identified as Neith, turned out to be a key figure. The Queen's Temple, discovered prior to the social media excitement, had revealed little about her significance at first. The belief at the time was that she was merely one of King Teti's two wives, buried alongside him. However, the new temple, which boasted the tallest pillar ever found, standing at a towering 30 meters, also bore an inscription that listed her as the daughter of the Egyptian deity Geb. This crucial detail transformed our understanding of the Sixth Dynasty. The discovery of Neith's temple, with its grand architectural features and detailed inscriptions, 
revealed that she played a more prominent role than previously thought. Before this revelation, it was believed that Iput, another wife of King Teti, was the primary queen, as her pyramid was larger than others. However, the new inscriptions suggested that Neith held a more significant status, potentially influencing royal politics and religious practices of the time. Number 12. Mass Grave of Children A few years ago, a startling discovery was made in Peru when a vast burial site was uncovered. This site contained over 140 bodies of children, all between the ages of 5 and 14. The graves date back to a civilization that thrived between the 10th and 15th centuries. This incredible find is believed to be a ritual burial site, as the bodies were discovered with their rib cages spread open and their breastbone removed. Such practices suggest that the removal of hearts might have been part of a ceremonial or sacrificial ritual. What makes this discovery even more fascinating is the scale and context. The site, known as Juan Chiquito Las Llamas, was initially identified through aerial photography and excavation revealed that these children were part of a larger sacrificial ceremony linked to the Chimu culture which was later absorbed by the Inca Empire. The burial site is thought to be the largest known of its kind, potentially holding the remains of thousands more individuals, as other smaller sites in the region have shown similar patterns. Researchers have also discovered that the children's bodies were buried with certain artifacts, including pottery and textiles, which offer clues about their cultural and ritual practices. The site provides a rare and significant window into the complex social and religious life of pre-Columbian Peru. Experts remain hopeful that ongoing excavations will reveal even more about this mystery in ancient civilization. Number 11. 2,000-year-old butter Recently, archaeologists unearthed a huge chunk of butter, estimated to be around 2,000 years old. This find is especially exciting, although it's not the oldest butter ever discovered. Back in 2013, archaeologists uncovered butter that was 5,000 years old, buried in a peat bog in Ireland. The 2,000-year-old butter, found in a bog in Denmark, is still an incredible find. It was discovered by a turf cutter who was extracting peat to use as fuel. The chunk of butter was a surprising find not just because of its age, but also due to its potent smell. After being buried for millennia, the butter had developed a highly sour odor, revealing the effects of time on dairy products. Bogs are fascinating natural preservers. They create an environment that slows decomposition due to their cool, acidic, and low oxygen conditions. This unique combination helped preserve not just food, but also ancient artifacts and even human bodies. For instance, bog bodies, mummified remains found in bogs, often have remarkably well-preserved skin and hair. The butter's preservation also highlights the ingenuity of ancient peoples in food storage. While the butter is theoretically still edible, no one has dared to taste it. The discovery sheds light on how early communities adapted their food preservation techniques, offering insights into their daily lives and survival strategies. Such finds not only amaze us, but also deepen our understanding of historical practices, revealing the sophisticated methods used by our ancestors to manage their resources. Number 10. The Dead Sea Scrolls In 1947, a discovery that would change our understanding of ancient texts and religions was made near the ancient settlement of Qumran by the Dead Sea on the West Bank. A group of Bedouin teenagers, while tending their goats and sheep, stumbled upon a cave with an unexpected find. One of the boys, tossing a rock into a cliff opening, heard a curious shattering sound. Intrigued, the boys ventured into the cave and uncovered seven large clay jars hidden within. These jars contained scrolls made of leather and goatskin, which were later identified as some of the most significant ancient texts ever found. The scrolls quickly drew the attention of antiquities dealers, and eventually, scholars from around the world began studying them. These scholars were amazed to find that the scrolls dated back more than 2,000 years, to a time between 250 BCE and 50 CE. The discovery was groundbreaking, as it provided a window into the past that had been closed for centuries. Over the following years, archaeologists and treasure hunters discovered tens of thousands of additional scroll fragments in nearby caves collectively known as the Dead Sea Scrolls. This massive find included between 800 and 900 separate manuscripts. The scrolls were written mostly in Hebrew, with some in Aramaic and a few in Greek. They were primarily made from sheepskin, though a small number were written on goatskin. The Dead Sea Scrolls are not only notable for their quantity, but also for their content. They include fragments of every book in the Old Testament except for the Book of Esther. These texts offer invaluable insights into the Jewish world of the Second Temple period and the early Christian community. The scrolls contain previously unknown hymns, 
prayers and commentaries, as well as mystical formulas in the earliest known version of the Ten Commandments. Among the most intriguing finds are the so-called Community Rule and the War Scroll, which describe the beliefs and practices of a Jewish sect, possibly the Essenes, who lived in Qumran. The significance of the Dead Sea Scrolls extends beyond their physical presence. They have played a crucial role in understanding the development of the Hebrew Bible and the origins of Christianity. Number 9. Lost City Luxor If El Dorado is the legendary lost city of gold in the West, then Luxor might be the lost golden city of the East. Unlike the mythical El Dorado, this ancient city, which is around 3,400 years old, has been discovered for real. The city dates back to the 18th dynasty of Pharaoh Amenhotep III, who ruled from 1386 to 1353 BC. Known for his immense wealth and luxury, Amenhotep III's reign was marked by impressiveness. In his later years, he shared power with his son, Akhenaten. It is Akhenaten who is thought to be behind the city's insignificance. Akhenaten, who briefly ruled over a new city named after himself and dedicated to the sun god, shifted away from traditional Egyptian culture. His reign was heavily influenced by his famous wife Nefertiti, and their focus on sun worship led to the neglect and eventual abandonment of the prominent city of Thebes, now known as Luxor. Thebes had been Egypt's capital until Akhenaten's religious reforms led to its decline. When Akhenaten died, his son reversed many of his father's controversial decisions and turned away from his legacy. The mystery remains as to why Thebes was left behind for over 150 years before being rediscovered. Archaeologists are still exploring the site, which is rich with everyday items, artwork, and evidence of various trades and hobbies. Number 8. Giant Tail This remarkable discovery was made in the arid desert near the charming town of General Cepeda, nestled on the border of the state of Koala. The excavation revealed 50 vertebrae, thought to belong to a hadrosaur, a type of duck-billed dinosaur that thrived about 70 million years ago during the late reptile period. Dinosaurs were known for their diverse and complex dental structures, which allowed them to chew a wide variety of vegetation. They could grow up to 30 feet long and weighed several tons, with their tails used for balance and communication. This find is particularly significant as it marks the first complete dinosaur tail discovered in Mexico, a country rich in prehistoric remnants, but not often associated with such complete specimens. The discovery has not only captured the attention of archaeologists, but has also sparked excitement about what other secrets the region might hold. Scientists are now eagerly planning further excavations to uncover more about this ancient giant and its environment, hoping to gain deeper insights into the biodiversity of the period and the evolutionary history of dinosaurs. Number 7. The Prediction of Dorothy Eady Born in January 1904, Dorothy was an inquisitive and bright-eyed child with an insatiable curiosity. Her life took a dramatic and strange turn after a tragic accident in 1908. She fell down a lengthy, twisting staircase and was pronounced dead by the attending doctors. However, hours later, she was astonishingly found sitting upright and restless on her bed, as if she had never been injured. This bizarre incident marked the beginning of Dorothy's extraordinary journey. Following her recovery, Dorothy's behavior took on an unusual and compelling new direction. During a family visit to the British Museum in 1908, she became especially captivated by the museum's Egyptian collection. Her fascination was so intense that she refused to leave the vicinity of a mummy, insisting that she felt a deep connection to the ancient artifacts. Her actions, such as kneeling to kiss the feet of a statue, intrigued and bewildered those around her. Dorothy's fascination with ancient Egypt did not disappear. Instead, it intensified. She began to experience vivid recurring dreams of a rich, unknown garden that seemed hauntingly familiar. Her dreams were not just fleeting images. They included complex details of ancient Egyptian gardens, which she described with striking accuracy. When Dorothy later encountered photographs of Egypt, particularly of the Temple of Sei, she was adamant that this was her true homeland. She claimed to have lived as a priestess in ancient Egypt, and her detailed descriptions of Egyptian customs and religious practices were astonishingly accurate, matching historical records unknown to scholars at the time. Driven by her conviction, Dorothy relocated to Cairo and married an Egyptian man named Ibrahim El Tawil, a marriage that was both culturally and symbolically significant. Despite the skepticism and disbelief from many, Dorothy's dedication remained unwavering. She continued to share her visions and predictions with anyone who would listen. 
One of her most notable achievements was her prediction about the discovery of a hidden palace garden within the temple of SEI. Archaeologists, following her detailed descriptions, conducted excavations in the area she had pinpointed. To their amazement, they dug up the remains of a splendid garden that matched Dorothy's detailed accounts. This discovery provided tangible evidence supporting her claims and added a layer of historical intrigue to her story. Dorothy's deep knowledge of ancient Egyptian rituals, including unclear details about sacred rites and symbols, earned her a place of respect among American and Egyptian archaeologists. Number 6. The Tomb of Tutankhamun In 1922, a remarkable event happened in Egypt's Valley of the Kings, a renowned archaeological site. A team of excavators led by the skilled Egyptologist Howard Carter made a stunning discovery. The nearly untouched tomb of Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun, a young pharaoh who was worshipped as a god during his lifetime, had his final resting place hidden beneath layers of rubble, unlike the tombs of other pharaohs that had been raided by grave robbers long ago. This tomb, which had been shielded from thieves for centuries, was the first known royal burial from ancient Egypt to be found so remarkably intact. As a result, the exposure of Tutankhamun's tomb is celebrated as one of the greatest archaeological finds ever. Inside the tomb, Carter's team uncovered an astonishing array of treasures, which included clothing, jewelry, cosmetics, incense, furniture, chairs, toys, various vessels, chariots, and weapons. Approximately 5,000 artifacts were carefully arranged within the confined space of the tomb. These items offered a rare and vivid glimpse into the luxurious lifestyle of Egypt's royal court. Despite the richness of its contents, Tutankhamun's tomb, known as Tomb 62 in the Valley of the Kings, is relatively modest compared to other royal tombs in both size and decoration. This simplicity is attributed to the fact that Tutankhamun became pharaoh at the young age of nine and ruled for only about nine years. Consequently, his tomb is less elaborate than those of his predecessors. The walls of the burial chamber are adorned with some decorative elements, but unlike other royal tombs that feature extensive funerary texts, such as the Amduat or the Book of Gates, which were believed to guide the deceased through the afterlife, Tutankhamun's tomb contains only a single representation from the Amduat. Most of the remaining decorations show funeral scenes or portray Tutankhamun in the presence of various deities, providing insight into the spiritual beliefs and rituals associated with his burial. Now it's time for today's subscriber's pick. In the heart of the Egyptian desert, beneath the shifting sands and the whispering winds, lay a hidden chamber of unmatched intrigue. Discovered by a fearless team of archaeologists, this chamber was not just another tomb. It was a sanctuary of the past, a burial ground of individuals who once thrived under the sun-soaked skies of ancient Egypt. The entrance was concealed behind a crumbling wall, covered with images that spoke of a forgotten dynasty. As the team lifted open the stone slab, a cool draft of air, untouched for millennia, greeted them. The chamber inside was a breathtaking sight, walls lined with intricate painting, illustrating scenes of daily life and grand ceremonies. However, it was the burial ground itself that held the most astonishing secrets. Each tomb was small, carved from local stone, and adorned with lovely gold leaf. But what made this discovery extraordinary was the personal nature of each tomb. Alongside the tombs were personal artifacts, wooden figurines, woven baskets, and delicate jewelry, each representing the individuals who once lived and breathed the ancient Egyptian air. What caught the archaeologists' attention was the unusual placement of these items. They were arranged in a way that seemed to narrate the story of each person's life. One tomb, for instance, contained not only a mummified body, but also an array of musical instruments and a scroll of poetry. Another held a collection of ancient tools and a small, carefully carved shape of a house. It was as though the individuals were buried with their life's work and passions, providing an intimate glimpse into their personal worlds. What did the placement of personal artifacts in the burial ground reveal about the lives of the individuals? How did the unique inscriptions found in the chamber contribute to the understanding of ancient Egyptian culture? Let's know your thoughts and comments below. Number 5. The Great Pyramids These pyramids are the last of the ancient seven wonders that we can still visit today. They were built over 4,500 years ago, during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu in the 4th dynasty. Originally, they soared to about 481 feet, though they've lost some of their height over time due to natural wear and tear. The construction of the pyramids involved incredibly precise engineering, 
Each side of the Great Pyramid was aligned almost perfectly with the cardinal points of the compass, which suggests advanced knowledge of astronomy. The pyramids were originally covered in highly polished white limestone casing stones that reflected sunlight, making them shine brightly. This polished layer has since been removed, revealing the rough inner core. Thieves have stripped these grand tombs of much of their treasures, leaving them as stark, empty burial grounds lacking their former magnificence. However, some fascinating artifacts have been found, including ancient tools and remnants of the workers' village. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence that the pyramids were built by a well-fed workforce of skilled laborers who lived in nearby temporary camps. These workers were not slaves, but rather paid laborers who received food, lodging, and medical care. Despite the passage of millennia, researchers still don't fully understand how the ancient Egyptians managed to design and build these massive structures, which have stood the test of time. To construct just one pyramid, workers had to cut and place around 2.3 million limestone blocks, each weighing about two tons. It's astonishing to think about how they transported and assembled so many blocks without modern tools. Some theories suggest that they used a system of ramps, possibly straight, zigzagging, or circular, to move the stones into place. While many believe that slaves performed the labor, recent discoveries suggest that these pyramids were actually public projects. This was a form of national service that demonstrated the power and stability of the pharaoh's rule. Number four, dinosaur egg. A 72 million year old dinosaur egg has captivated both scientists and the public with its extraordinary preservation. Inside this dead egg, researchers discovered a remarkably well-preserved dinosaur embryo, making it one of the most complete specimens ever found. This tiny dinosaur named Baby Ying Liang was unearthed in Gonzo, a region in Southern China known for its rich remnant deposits from the late reptile period. The egg's preservation is particularly striking due to its intricate and rare posture. The egg was found in an unborn position, wrapped up with its head tucked under its arm. This posture, known as tucking, is a rare find and provides insights into how dinosaur embryos develop before hatching. It is believed that this specific positioning might have helped protect the embryo during the final stages of its development. Additionally, the fossilized egg shell is incredibly intact offering a detailed view of its structure. The shell's thickness and texture suggest it provided substantial protection, which helped preserve the embryo within. This discovery not only sheds light on the nesting behavior of dinosaurs, but also provides valuable information about the environment they lived in. The preservation of Baby Ying Liang is particularly significant because it offers a unique glimpse into the life of a dinosaur just before it hatched. Such well-preserved specimens are extremely rare and provide crucial evidence about the developmental stages of dinosaurs, their reproductive behaviors, and their growth patterns. The find has sparked excitement among archaeologists and dinosaur enthusiasts as it enriches our understanding of these ancient creatures. Number three, 9,000-year-old beer. Recently, archaeologists in southeastern China dug up an astonishing find, traces of beer in ancient vessels and old jars. These artifacts are believed to date back to the early era, around 7,000 BC. The discovery was made in the central plains of China, an area rich with early agricultural activity. Nearby, two skeletons were found, suggesting that their relatives might have left alcohol at their graves as part of a ritual to honor the deceased. Upon analysis, experts determined that the ancient beer was made from fermented rice and Job's Tears, a grain also known as Kua Lacrima Jobi. This grain, often used in traditional Chinese medicine, was combined with honey and fruit to create a drink that was both nourishing and ceremonial. Unlike the clear, crisp beers we drink today, this ancient brew was cloudy and had a slightly sweet, harsh taste due to the natural fermentation process. The discovery also revealed that the beer contained traces of minerals like calcium and magnesium, which may have had added health benefits for early humans. This find not only highlights the cultural significance of alcohol in ancient rituals and daily life, but also sheds light on early brewing techniques. Archaeologists are optimistic about discovering more evidence of this ancient beer as they continue to excavate the site. However, one intriguing mystery remains. How did people from this settlement manage to create the mold necessary for fermentation 9,000 years ago? Scientists are still debating whether these early brewers accidentally discovered the fermentation process by noticing that moldy rice tasted sweeter or if they learned the technique from other cultures through trade or migration. In addition to the beer residues, the site revealed pottery decorated with intricate designs and evidence of early agriculture, indicating a sophisticated society 
society that valued both ritual and daily sustenance. This discovery not only offers a glimpse into ancient brewing practices, but also underscores the ingenuity and adaptability of early human societies, whose innovative methods laid the groundwork for modern brewing. Number two, the priest tomb. Long before Cairo transformed into the vibrant city it is today, during the 5th dynasty of Egypt, which reigned from around 2005 to 2359 BCE, the Grand Giza pyramids were just coming into existence. During this time, Saqqara was a central cemetery or burial ground for the ancient city of Memphis, located a few miles to the south of Cairo. Saqqara was not just a burial site, but a grand ceremonial complex that played a crucial role in Egyptian society. Saqqara was home to some of Egypt's most elaborate and important tombs, including that of the high priest Wadi. Wadi's tomb is particularly significant due to its exceptional preservation and its rich decorations. His tomb features intricate carvings and vibrant paintings illustrating scenes of daily life and religious rituals. These artworks provide valuable insights into the customs and beliefs of the period. The tomb of Watai is adorned with four beautifully scaled images, illustrating his mother, wife, and family members in lifelike poses. Additionally, the tomb houses over a dozen openings and 24 statues representing key figures in his life, showcasing the importance of family and social connections in the afterlife. One of the most fascinating aspects of Wadi's tomb is its remarkable state of preservation. Discovered in a ridge that had escaped the attention of ancient tomb robbers, it remains largely untouched by looters. This rarity offers an extraordinary opportunity for historians and archaeologists to study the funerary practices and artistic styles of the 5th dynasty in their original context. Moreover, Wadi's tomb provides a glimpse into the role of high-ranking officials in ancient Egyptian society. High priests like Wadi were not only religious leaders, but also played a key role in maintaining the balance between the divine and earthly realms. The elaborate nature of his tomb reflects his high status and the significance of his role in ensuring the favor of the gods. Number one, ancient aliens. Long before humans walked the earth, aliens might have ruled the world and possibly left behind their remains without ever retrieving them. This idea is supported by a strange find that has puzzled scientists for years. Discovered in 1928, an oddly shaped heavy skull was unearthed in Peru. This peculiar skull, which has been carefully preserved for around 2,000 years, is unusual due to its elongated form and significant size. Its discovery opened a new chapter in the story of human evolution. Since then, similar strange skulls have been found in various locations, all sharing this bizarre shape. Despite extensive DNA testing, scientists are still unsure about these mysterious remains. While some think the unusual shape might be the result of intentional head-shaping practices, others wonder if these skulls could belong to extraterrestrial beings. Another mystery lies in the southern shore of Bolivia, where a human-like creature with an unusual appearance is displayed in a local museum. This specimen, thought to be a human unborn child about seven to nine months old at the time of stillbirth, has a cone-shaped skull and oddly shaped ribs. Experts are divided on its origins. Some believe it could be the result of a genetic mutation, while others speculate it might be the offspring of a human and a non-human species. The peculiar features of this unborn child, along with other similar specimens, continue to baffle researchers and hint at mysteries yet to be solved. Which one of these scientists finds inside this place that shocked the whole world did you find most interesting? Share your thoughts and comments below.